killed a woman in Connecticut. Many wonder why anyone ra would raise wild animals at home. NBC's Jeff. Anyone ra would raise wild animals at home. NBC's Jeff Rawson spent an entire day with a mother in Montana who, along with raising her human son, is raising two other sons that happen to be chimpanzees. Jeannie Risotto starts the day like most parents, making breakfast for the kids. Her six-year-old boys, Kramer and Connor, the chimps, and she ends the day like most parents, too. Give me a kiss. Spending quality time teaching them sign language and watching TV together. And yes, the chimps even hang out in bed with her every evening. Say night, night. Jeannie's used to it. We're not. Come on, let's go over here by the couch. As we set up for the interview, it was Kramer's TV okay. time, so we had an extra guest. There you go. Get your blinky. We followed careful safety procedures in the evening when the chimps were most calm, but I made sure Jeannie sat between us. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, be nice. It's okay. Okay. He wants uh, to hug you. Okay. There you go. Thanks for the hug. Okay, see? It's nerve-wracking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you quickly learn the chimp leads. When he hugs you, you oh, hug you back. Know. They can be ten times stronger than a grown man. Wait, hurry up! He's killing my girlfriend! The proof came last month when that pet chimp named Travis went on a brutal rampage in Stamford, Connecticut. His victim, Charla Nash, a 55-year-old single mom, is still in critical condition with life-changing injuries after Travis latched onto her face. Did you think to yourself, maybe this is my wake-up call? I shouldn't have chimps. It's unsafe. No. No. Not for a second? No, not even for a second. Why not? Because that's, that's very uh, unusual and unlikely. You don't know that for sure. It was just a freak accident. Couldn't a freak accident happen, I don't know, right now? Yes. It's more likely to happen with me flying or driving than it is for that to happen to me with a chimpanzee. Mm -hmm. So I'm really more scared of life than I am my chimps. I want to get you. I want to get you. But Jeannie admits her chimps can turn on a stranger fast. So during the day when they're most active, they stay in this giant playroom attached to the house but caged in. <gasps> Whoa, you are too cool. Jeannie dedicates her life to these chimps, a bond that started when Connor and Kramer were just babies. Jeannie dressed them up for Halloween. They celebrated Christmas together. She drove them around in car seats and rolled them around in strollers. The chimps are her life. How do you get so close to a chimp? You have to remember, you get them at five, six months old, you're putting diapers on them, you're dressing them up in little clothes. They're so cute. They live about an hour outside of Billings, Montana. Recently, her chimps got out and reportedly bit a woman in town. So the few neighbors they have want the chimps out of here. One of us will die first before we're separated. That'll be the next time that we ever separate. You won't send him to a sanctuary? Ever. Ever. Why not? Why? He has a sanctuary here. His home is a sanctuary. What would he have better there that he doesn't have here? What they'd have, experts say, is a safe and natural environment. This sanctuary in Washington State has tried to convince Jeannie to give up her chimps for her safety and theirs. The bottom line is you can never take that natural chimp behavior out of the chimp. So even if they've been raised in a human home and they very much love their, you know, their human mom, they're still chimps and they're still wild animals and they're still really strong. But Jeannie won't budge. Yay! Look at you! Even as her chimps get older, and experts say, more dangerous. You sometimes have to slap yourself and say, wait a second, this isn't a person, this is a wild animal. Because, I mean, here he is sitting on your couch. It's easy to forget that it's a wild animal. What I, what I normally do is I slap myself and say, how cool, I have a chimpanzee. And that was NBC's Jeff Rawson reporting, and Jeannie told Jeff she sees the problem really is with the breeders who make it very easy for people to buy a chimp. Apparently, all that has to be done is to have to pick up the phone, and if you have $50,000, well, then you can have your own chimp delivered the next day. Apparently, it's an all-cash business, so wow. sounds like that definitely is an issue. Still, it uh, sounds like an accident waiting to happen. Absolutely. I mean, these are wild animals, and although you saw in that piece, it seemed very loving and sweet, they can change. They can turn. Anyway, still to come?